Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And um, I was looking into this, uh, you know, metaverse crap. That Esau is coming with, you know, which they're putting, you know, tens of billions of dollars into this uh, technology to create you a virtual reality and hijack the human experience and put everything on a grid. Now we know prophetically what that fully leads to. And as you can see, their logo is the infinity logo. All right. Now, eight. Stands for infinity because it never stops. It's forever. And they took that and they turned it pretty much sideways. All right. And in this video, I just went into the uh, definition of uh, meta. Showed how it's a uh, it's of Greek origin. And um Pretty much these devils are moving forward with their plan. Now, this guy, Carl Schwab, which we'll look him up, okay? This guy, Carl Schwab, okay, uh, when you deal with this fourth industrial revolution, you know, that these devils are um, getting ready to bring, okay, this all links up. All right. Now, um, this guy, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, which we'll play this video in just a minute. This guy, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, um, is coming with this whole metaverse. All right. Transcending, uh, you know, and it's all linked to the whole transhumanist agenda, you know, um, which we have videos on that. Uh, we can't really load them up here. But ultimately, um, you know, they're they're chasing Godhead, but through left hand means and they're going to play on people's emotions uh, in the flesh to get people to fall for it. All right. Same way he did with Eve. When you go to the garden, you know, Eve was deceived. And um, when you deal with it, let's go to a real quick in the book of Genesis, the third chapter. Because this is the serpent all over again, all right? <laughs> he started out as a serpent in a garden. Now he's a, you know, dra a seven-headed dragon with ten horns, okay, and world world domination, which was given unto him by Isaac in a sword, a great sword with that. Now it talks about the serpent, you know, because we weren't supposed to eat of these different philosophies we were to, to stick to the ways of wisdom all right but the serpent came ultimately with another way and eve fell for it and then adam ate of it okay which led to this downfall we're in <laughs> you know along with solomon's sin you know those things have led to us as the sons of god you know being absolutely detached and put under heathen rulership. Now, when the serpent came to Eve with that philosophy, this is what he told her. All right. Genesis 3 and 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. If you take on this philosophy that wisdom told her not to. All right. The breath of life that was given unto Adam, the instruction, divine instruction, that is. Okay, the uh, the way to walk therein that leads to everlasting life. You know, the serpent came and told the woman, if you eat of this tree, you shall not surely die, which this is where he lied. But here in the fifth verse, he told the truth. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And we had to fully understand <laughs> the ramifications of evil 
we had to truly understand, you know, what came with rebellion and, and see this earth ran in evil to fully appreciate righteousness and to fully be judges. So he told the truth here. All right. But it was told to us, it was told to the woman that if you eat of this tree, you're going to die. Death will come. Right. But he presented it like, no, you, you're not going to surely die. And this is the same thing Esau has fooled you Israelites in the whole world with today. Taking on to this, uh, you know, this philosophy of do as thou wilt. Now, uh, verse six says, and when the woman saw that the tree, because it was not a it was not a actual fruit. OK, it was a it was a doctrine a way. OK, the scriptures say, eat not the bread of him that hath an evil eye towards you because he'll tell you to eat. I believe it's in uh, Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, eat and drink, saith he, but his heart is not with thee. And once you eat it and drink it, you become drunk with another philosophy. And that's the, 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 the point where the two thirds of our people are at and they don't want to wake out of that deep sleep. You know, the scriptures say that they that hate me love death, death and our people hate the most highs and they love death. So when it says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, because it tastes good, okay, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree desired to make one wise. And that's how Esau is presenting this new technology, this new way, this, this, this virtual reality. Out of the hell he's created, he's now offering you salvation from it okay so the the fruit the way that it it, it, it was presented and the way that esau comes because he's a serpent a serpent is not speaking of a literal snake it's speaking of a man who was a witch who's in the witchcraft all right who's a deceiver with the spirit of satan the adversary to righteousness so when she saw that it was pleasant to the eyes and, and, and good to eat it tastes good and desire to make one wise, as is all of these philosophies that Esau come with, plays on people's flesh to where you think you're actually getting into something that's better in you. But you're actually becoming uh, 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 less dependent on your how about you shy. You become proud. You become detached from reality. OK. She took the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And when the eyes of them both were open to evil, because they were only supposed to know good, and they knew, and this is a, a, a you know, this is a literal story, but this is a history of the sons of God, the church, all right, uh, which Eve is symbolic of. Okay, the, the, the word Eve means uh, life or, you know, uh, ultimately uh, earth. What what comes out of the earth? The, the, the you, know, you know, plant the seed into the earth. Okay, we're supposed to bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. Okay, but we, we went off. Eve went off. We And we as the nation of Israel, you know, we were supposed to be in covenant with the Most High. Right? through his mediator at, at that time doing the first covenant but what happened we 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 broke that covenant man we broke the the you know the uh the rules and guidelines and regulations of that marriage of the we agreed to it but then we broke it same thing eve had, did here okay now when their eyes was open they knew that they were naked and it's not a literal nakedness, but nakedness, when you go into the scriptures, means to be without the law, meaning you, you're in your folly, okay? Uh, when you get Habakkuk, the third chapter, or the, not the third chapter, the second chapter, it says, uh, woe to him, second chapter in the 15th verse, woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink and that puttest thy bottle to him, which is the wine, which makes you spiritually drunk. And our people are drunk off of social media, 
technology to where they don't even think about the most high anymore because everything is just freely given to them. If you want to be a whore, you can be a whore. If you want to be a mo, you can be a mo. If you want to be any of the alphabet letters, you can be anything you want in this world and get support. So what is the need of order when I can do what the hell I want that pleases to my flesh? Woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink. That put us thy bottle to him and make them drunken also that they may look on their nakedness and the nakedness is shame. See what it says in the uh, in the Hebrew. I don't think I ever looked up that word. Uh, my. Rar, my war. All right, my war nakedness. Pudinum. Let's look up this word. What does that mean? Plural nakedness. There's a point when Moses, uh, when he went, came down from the mount, the children of Israel built the golden calf and they were sinning. What does it say? That they were in their nakedness. All right. It says a uh, person's external genitals, especially the woman's, yada, yada, yada. To be ashamed. Okay. To be ashamed. But anyway, let's go to the root word here. To be exposed, to be bare, to be laid bare. Okay. So there's a, a, a natural nakedness and then there's a spiritual nakedness. OK, and following after Esau. OK, that's, uh, you know, where our people are today, which is why the remnant is so important, because we woke up now. This guy here, let me check this out, man. I'm going to play this because uh, this is their new thing, you know, to. You know, throw under the bus again. The pedophilia thing came out with Facebook. All right, how you know they allow all of these 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 rings and th different things, and you know it doesn't get addressed. Now the devil just comes with a new trick. He just pulls something out of his ass, which they've been talking about it for a minute with the metaverse. You had the whole whistleblower, which that was a sham. Here it is: a, a whistleblower comes out and says. We, they're not regulating people's posts and things enough. All right. So we need to regulate. It's just come out with a, with a, and people fell for it too. People didn't see that that was a sham for them to, you know, go harder on um, spying on you and looking at everything you do and taking away uh, free speech and taking away rights and having a wherewithal to take down particular videos and label them, you know, theory, C theories conspiracy theories this place is played out man we're at the end of you devil's reign and it's clear Metaver the metaverse and how we'll build it together now here it is this devil this is one of the top men that we know of right he's he's a he's a, a multi-billionaire to do this dude right here could lose seven billion dollars and say shit that's the type of shit he's on, you know. But, you know, there's talks of how social media is ruining people's minds, is ruining, you know, it's taking pe people away from reality, is really turning people against the most high. Okay? But it's also used on the right-hand side as a medium for the truth to go out. So you have uh, all sorts of things happening. But here it is. This devil is sitting here talking about this crap. With some goddamn sweet baby Ray sitting in the background. What, what, <laughs> I mean, this is the most bugged out society. This is the most bugged out crap ever. Here it is. This dude is telling you what we're planning to do with the future. He's supposed to be this big time. And he's just sitting there with <laughs> this, some goddamn sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce sitting at the top. I just wanted to point that out. But anyway. And if you, you know, you know about that sweet baby raise, man. Like, what is he doing? What is Esau doing, man? This is all folly. The scriptures, that's how I had this scripture pulled up, man. Goodness gracious, these devils got to be taken out of power, man. And we're at that point, man. <sighs> Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is set in, let me start at 5. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. And as an heir which proceeded from the ruler. And who's the ruler? Esau. 
folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. Who's who's the rich? Those who are rich in wisdom. I know your uh, poverty, but thou art rich. The, the elect, man, we sit in a low place. Meanwhile, folly is uplifted all over the world, man. Especially here in Babylon the Great. It says, I have seen servants upon horses. Okay, the heathen Esau. They're on horses in the position of rulership. And princes walking as servants on the earth. The true, the true wisdom is held by the elect. Okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashimah Shai. But here it is, we're looked down upon, and a guy can come with this. Okay, when we're gonna play a little bit of it, we can come with this crap. This is on some demolition man. <laughs> Total Rico. This, this this man is losing his mind. Now here it is, the earth is absolutely decimated. People are sick, everything's polluted, and they're putting tens and billions and hundreds of billions of dollars into all of this technology. Goodness gracious, these people are horrible rulers. Let's get that in the book of, uh, goodness gracious, you devils are through. This nigga sitting up there with some sweet baby rays. Goodness gracious, man. Sirach 10 and 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people. And now everything's a war on your mind to get you to, to buy into this new, this, this reset, man. An unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. You see that? And, and this guy right here ain't profitable. Okay. They've hoarded all of the, the, the resources and the riches of the earth to themselves and they're just sitting here playing with humanity as if they're God. Actually are. We'll be able to express ourselves in new, joyful, completely immersive ways. And that's going to unlock a lot of amazing new experiences. When I send my parents a video of my kids. The the true experience that needs to be fixed is the human the the the, the the human experience so instead of fixing that and taking away all this bs which you know that's the devil ain't gonna do it because people are significantly dumber under this whole new way this whole technology age okay yeah it's cute yeah we yeah the phone yeah you have access to the information with the, the click of a you know, a finger at the tap of a finger. Yeah, I get it. But people are significantly dumber. People are more depressed. Okay. Marriages, families are at an all time low. Now they want to take it even further. Let's listen to this devil. This nigga got some sweet baby rays in the background. Right? They're going to feel like they're right in the moment with us, not peering through a little window. <laughs> when you play a game with your friends, you'll feel like you're right there together in a different world, not just on your computer by yourself. And when you're in a meeting in the metaverse, it'll feel like you're right in the room together, making eye contact, having a shared sense of space, and not just looking at a grid of faces on a screen. That's what we mean by an embodied internet. Instead of looking at a screen, you're gonna be in these experiences. You notice he has on all black, you know, which is heavy in, in occult and witchcraft. This is a witch, all right? This is one of the, uh, Modern day Chaldeans. Now, he's the face of something that's bigger on the left hand side. But uh, th this dude is clearly, when you look at him in his eyes, something's not right with him. A spiritual man, you, you can look at some of these people and know something ain't right with it, you know? Everything we do online today, connecting socially, entertainment, games, work, is going to be more natural and vivid. This isn't about spending more time on screens, it's about making the time that we already spend better. Screens just can't convey the full range of human expression and connection. They can't deliver that deep feeling of presence. But the next version of the internet can. That's what we should be working towards. Technology that's built around people and how we actually experience the world and interact with each other. That's what the metaverse is all about. Now the best way to understand the metaverse is to experience it yourself, but it's a little tough because it doesn't fully exist yet. Some of the basic building blocks are here though, and others are starting to emerge as we speak. 
we're starting to get a sense of how it could all come together and what it could feel like. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Rather than just focusing on this year's products like a normal keynote, we're gonna talk about the future. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like, starting with the most important experience of all. Now you have the universe now. They, they say we're coming with the metaverse. Now we know the word meta is Greek for what? To go beyond or to transcend. will support 3D objects that can respond and react realistically, including a realistic sense of depth and occlusion. In the next year, we're also adding the ability for creators to connect different physical locations into cohesive augmented reality storytelling experiences like guided tours or scavenger hunts. We're also building a horizon marketplace where creators can sell and share 3D digital items. And our hope is that this will enable a lot more commerce and help grow the overall metaverse economy. <laughs> because at the end of the day, it is really the creators and developers who are going to build the metaverse and make this real. And to make sure that there's an ecosystem that can sustain hundreds of thousands of people working on this, which is what we're going to need to bring this to life, then it's critical that creators and developers can make a good living doing this work. Hundreds of thousands, huh? Now, if you ask people today what they thought the metaverse was, a lot of people would probably say it was a Spider-Man movie. But the people who actually follow the space would say it's about gaming. And that's because gaming provides many of the most immersive experiences, and it is the biggest entertainment industry by far. Gaming in the metaverse is going to- See, it's playing on your flesh to get you into this new world, all right? And we know what's really gonna be needed in order for this all to fully work. We know. Fan from immersive experiences in fantasy worlds to bring simple games into our everyday lives through holograms. Maybe you'll play old games in new ways. So, uh, Barcelona, huh? <laughs> well, it's not New York, but... And they have this in movies, you know, where you know they, they're having meetings, different elites, they're having meetings and the, there's, you know, one person may be physically there, but the others are there in this form. And it's actually them moving and talking. Yeah. Remember in Demolition Man, they hijacked, you know, sex was, was, was uh, you know, virtual. Yeah, they're, they're, they're moving forward with a whole new world. And it looks so cute to people. People think, oh, wow. I like it. New York, Mrs. What's that? I said, let me put my game face on so I can beat you. Nigga turned to a lion while y'all chilling. Ah, okay. Check. I gotta try another game face next time. Maybe you'll go head to head with players from around the world. It's like a shop. Some call it skill. Keep talking. Or maybe you'll do things that aren't even possible in gaming today. Down for a VR foiling sesh? Now this is more my style. And it's going to be a grid and stuff like that. This is what they're planning on doing, you know. Uh, you know, instead of the phone, you know, there is, there's, the, the, the whole earth will be the phone. <laughs> and you'll be on it. You know, you ever heard of smart cities? Look it up. Classic. All right. Oh, nice choice, Mark. Ready to shred. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh, hang in there, Mark. That's not good. Hit this section. Boom. All right, backflip. Meanwhile, the earth is here being destroyed, and, and you can't enjoy it. But you can do it on, on this virtual grid. is constantly evolving so one of the most important aspects will be live service games that launch updates and new downloadable content regularly like echo vr beat saber onward pistol whip 
and warm. And this video is a, a hour and 17 minutes, so you'll have to watch it on your own. Okay, here's something I know our community has been waiting for. Lay it on us. All right, this is a title from the Warp Frag team. These people this need to be destroyed. This is the team that set the standard for A lot of you are already using Quest to stay fit. It lets you work out in some completely new ways. It's kind of like a Peloton, but instead of a bike, you just have your VR headset, and with it, you can do anything from boxing lessons, to sword fighting, to even dancing. Look at this nigga, man. What the fuck is this, man? You what the work out in new what? worlds. Even against an AI. Huh. <laughs> oh. Bugged out. You can actually do more than you could in your regular work set. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. Looking good. Let's get together real quick for a debrief. To most people, this is salvation. I'm free now. Let's jump in. Hi. Hey. So what do we think? I think it's ready. Great. I'll prep it for the presentation. All right. Good luck. Imagine a space where you can tune out distractions and focus on the task at hand. And when you're ready to share what you've been working on, you can present it as if you're right there with the team. Wait, where's Mark? I think he's in the middle of something. You can already see some of these elements in Horizon Workrooms, which we launched a couple of months ago. Later this year, we plan to introduce a room customization. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you in a minute. You're learning to repair. Let's it's going to be the new education. Sense of the rhythm of life over 2000 And this is just one area that they got. They got all sorts of other stuff, you know, uh planned. Um who was that? Where is that? His brother. Let me see here. Tell the truth. Jumping in now. What if there was an after party that anyone could go to, no matter where they were? This is wild. <laughs> what the fuck? It was a giraffe. E Eve gonna get hollered at by a giraffe. God damn. What is this? Hey, check this out. Charity auction happening. Uh, and people tell us the kingdom is crazy because it requires order and because a man is going to be able to dominate and really be a man. But this is cool. Oh, there's swag. And when you go to the after party, you could connect with other fans, hear new versions of your favorite songs, and check out the merch that just dropped. Ooh, I like that. Well, now you've got... God damn. I get it. You can start to see how the metaverse is going to enable richer experiences by letting us add new layers to the world that we can interact with. We going this man are going to be able to connect. This man got to be stopped. That's 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 the bottom line. You know. And Lord willing we're 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 close man, but he he's going you know and these are the miracles that he's going to deceive people with. Okay? Revelation 13 and 14, and he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And what does it mean he got power to do it? The, ultimately, the beast system, and you realize how much riches these people have, how much power they have. So with the, the, the money, they're able to, to, to put money into anything they want on the left hand side. Whatever Satan shows them, they're like, we can do it. And they and they put money towards it, man. So the organic way of farming, the organic way of food, everything is getting ready to be changed. And, and they're 
uh, you know, mines upgraded, but it's on a left hand, uh, 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 you know, it's on a left hand way. Because look, in the kingdom, let me get the scripture real quick. I believe it was Isaiah sixty-five. You know, we're gonna have our heart's desires, man. Whenever we want it. This is uh Isaiah sixty-five. And 23, and they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for uh, trouble. Because here you, 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 whatever you bring forth, trouble is added to it. Whatever we put our hands to in the kingdom is going to flourish. For they are the seed blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they, at, while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Meaning you're going to have everything like that. See, but they're creating it on the left-hand side. See? The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. Now, Esau can't do that. He don't have the technology. Now, he, he has his GMO animals and, and, and different things going on, but he'll never be able to fully be the most high. Only the most high can do this. The, the lamb and the wolf shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw. The lion eating off the earth and not... Uh, uh, you know, tackling a damn hippopotamus or chasing deer all damn day. See, that's what's going to happen in the kingdom. The dust shall be the serpent's meat. What does that do? Clean the earth. <laughs> There's literally going to be things created, you know. And if you allow, you know, the the the, the earth to, to be as it is, the natural way. But see, nature is not this man's thing. Whatever the Lord said was good, he said, nah, I have a better way. And now we're looking at him saying, I have a better way of life. I have a better way to live. I have a better way of existence. I have a better way of for the earth. You know, as a matter of fact, let's not call it earth. Whatever He's he's on some other shit. They shall not hurt nor destroy it on my holy holy mountain. So he's trying to create this 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 left hand blessing and and ultimately it, it's like he's forging his birthright in the earth he wants to birthright so bad that this is what he's doing because he knows that jacob is on the come up so this man is losing his damn mind the brother now another thing i saw with this whole metaverse thing this is off a of, uh, root rooters explainer what is the universe now what do you see that's prevalent to the times on the screen all right, CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, is tied to this. As a matter of fact, let's go back here a little bit, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll groove on into it. Groove on, baby. I think there's more demand for online spaces where people's interactions can be more multidimensional and lifelike. Like interaction can be more multidimensional and lifelike. Oh, well, we got to go back here. We got to go back here. Revelation 13 and 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by a sword and did live. Ancient Rome. Okay, this is a highly technological functioning ancient Greco Roman Empire. Okay. But he's going to deceive many people by the miracles. Now, when you look up this word miracles, and that's speaking of this beast system that we're in, the Greek word is saimion, saimion, a sign, a mark, a token, that by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others and is known, a sign, a prodigy, a portent, unusual occurrence, transcending, transcending the common course of nature. Now, that's what this whole meta thing is about. That's what this whole metaverse is about. Transcending the common course of nature. We just did the video on it. See that? To go beyond nature. Okay? So this technology that he's been blessed with on the left-hand side is going to play on people's flesh because the earth is there there is a war on your mind you're looking for comfort you're looking for the next way to get it easy you're looking for so so with this system people are going to be like shit 
okay, well, I'll do this because the, the, the dollar's getting ready to be crashed, right? The, the, the dollar is getting ready to be crashed. Let me just go, go to it. And in order to get any of what you thought you had back, as the scriptures say, you will have nothing and be happy about it. That's because everything, th th this whole system is going to have you to the point where it's like you won't even realize you don't have shit. But that's why the days are being shortened because the Lord got to take this man down. Now, I want to play this part dealing with the CBDCs. Central Bank Digital Currency. There is also a specific type of metaverse which uses blockchain technology. See? The same technology that's behind Bitcoin. One of such blockchain-based virtual worlds is Decentraland. In there, users can buy digital assets such as clothes and even land using cryptocurrencies. Fashion companies are known... Cryptocurrency. Central Bank Digital Currency is in line with this seeing the trend experimenting with making virtual clothing which people's avatars can wear in metaverse environments while the metaverse offers a new space for people to socialize trade game and even attend music concerts right now it's still no comparison to the real world now they're going to shut down the real world and they're using all right uh crown royale 19 as a means to justify it but you see how they just do that in there the central bank digital currency is tied to that why because these miracles and this technology is going to lead to what verse 16 through 17 he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive it says mark that word is karagma which is something carved, something created by man, a graven work, an adulterous image. It's an idol, an imprinted mark, right? But when you go to the root word, Krax is what? A pale, a stake, a palisade, a rampart, all right? And what is that? What is a palisade, all right? Something pointy. Sticks in the ground, a stake, a pail. Okay? And we already know what the rest says. What is the reason you're going to get this so that you, so that it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, it's going to be everything. In order to, you want, you want social media, you know, we're upgrading social media. Now we have this, this, this metaverse. You, you want to get this, you want to do that. You want to, you, everything is linking into, you know, uh, uh, you being put on this grid. All right. And technology, and they're, and they're playing on your flesh. Now I want to go to this real quick because, uh, this is this dude, Carl Schwab. Now, it says, what is the fourth industrial revolution? You can look up other videos on it, but this is a real thing. And everything that we're talking about is a part of it. Let's listen to him. It's the fourth industrial revolution will impact our lives completely. The fourth industrial revolution will impact our lives completely. It will not only change how we communicate, how we produce, how we consume... It will not only change how we communicate, produce, and consume. How are you going to change how I consume? Well, look up farm to fork. From the, the, the soil to your mouth, everything will be tracked. All for your safety. Okay, all because nature and the natural way of things is killing everything. Not us. It will change actually us, our own identity. It will change us, our own identity. Of course, gives life uh, to such uh, policies and uh, developments like uh, smart traffic, smart government, smart cities. Smart graphics, smart government, smart cities. What we will see is that uh, everything will be integrated into a ecosystem driven by big data and everything will be integrated into a new ecosystem that is controlled by data uh, driven uh, particularly by a close cooperation of 
terms of, of governments, uh, his um, uh, business, civil society, and this revolution will come at a race-taking speed. <laughs> Evolution. A tsunami. And actually, it's not just a digital revolution, it's digital, of course, physical. He said it's not just digital, it's digital and physical. Technology, but it's also biological. And so three dimension provides in particular force to this revolution. So what evolution because that's what it's all about becoming a god so the world economic forum is doing is to promote uh, this public private cooperation to master the force it does the revolution what will be the impact of the fourth industrial revolution so force industrial revolution will have uh, multifold impacts of course every industry will be digitalized this intermediary. Everything will be digital. It and has to define a new business model. But it's not only business which is affected. It's government which has to move over to agile government. It is society as a whole with the danger of Dude's bugged uh, out. job losses, but also with the need to reskill and upskill people uh, fast. Look at the likes and dislikes. Society. So uh, we will have to prepare very well for this revolution. And I feel that He keeps saying evolution because that's what evolution is really all about, transcending into a god. Countries with a relatively young population uh, can manage and master this revolution easier compared to other countries in the world. How, how can we prepare? Look at that first comment. See that? Eve, too, I think. It looked like Eve. Um, what is particularly important is the educational system. Uh, we have to change the educational system, which is still very much anchored. Even in the 19th century, uh, we have to adapt it to the need to change, continue. Yeah. So you can look up more on that. This man is the devil in person. Sounds like he, he a living hell. Yeah, it's a living hell. And everybody's cursing this dude out. He said he should be in prison. It says the new education system will make all children over the world into fully interchangeable screen staring chip. Uh-oh. Did I, did I say it? He said that. Strike him. Don't strike me. Okay. Karagma. See that word? Data inputting. Serving global AI. So smart and clean and wonderful and utterly inhuman and dystopian. Who do you think you're kidding, Mr. Schwab? That's what it is. I love reading comments at times, man. It said this guy can play an evil villain in the movie. Well, he is. Hey, the Lord said he created the wicked for the day of evil. <laughs> Pro Psalms or Proverbs 16. I ain't brought that one out in a minute. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord have created all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So we needed the evil day. Well, the Lord created Esau, the man of sin. It should very well be clear who the man of sin is being revealed in the in the before the end. You see, what's that? Second Thessalonians. We bring that out every lesson because it's it's evident. How can you not see it? And there's so much more we can say and, and link with this. Second Thessalonians two, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders is pseudoscience. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. So, you know, we'd be talking like, duh, how do people look at Biden and say something's not, not think something's wrong? How are people looking at this? And saying, okay, how are people looking at 
uh, uh, what's going on and saying, well, I'll do it. I'll try it. You know, I, you know, I don't care. You know, this is how I'm going to live. Because the Lord sent them a strong delusion to believe the bullshit. Why? That they all might be damned who believed not the truth and had unple and had pleasure in unrighteousness, man. These people are absolutely mad. He's setting himself up to be the most high. All right. The Lord has blessed him to where on, on the left hand, he's become wiser than Daniel. All right. E Ezekiel 28 and 4. With thy wisdom and thy understanding, thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver to thy treasures by thy wisdom and thy traffic has thou increased thy riches traffic on the seas he ship he, he traffics humans he traffics you know uh, you know whatever he, he got it belly buttons knees he got everything on on the market souls and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches okay it, it was, it was uh, there's a scripture that say your wisdom has perverted thee so I just wanted to go into that, man. You know, this man is is, 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 a, is, a, is a he's he's going towards Godhead. He wants to be the most high. He's, he, he thinks he's God like he's taking it on a whole nother level and people don't even see it. Hey, but it's all good, man. Hopefully I'll edify. Shalom.